everyone, my name is Katie Barnett. I'm a senior executive sales leader um, out in California. And um, I'm so excited to be here sharing with you in our multi-team training this month. Um, so I have been asked to share with you um, how to streamline your online business. And I guess the reason for that is um, my background is that I have been with Norwex since July of 2017, so a little under a year ago. And um, as much as I would have loved to be in a million homes over the last year, uh, physically, I have only had two in-home parties in the last 11 months, so since starting, which um, is crazy, right? Um, so I know that's kind of like the crux of our company is getting in front of people and showing them um, exactly what these products can do. But because of my clientele, and I don't know if it's regional or generational or what it is, I have really only been able to do online parties. And so, and it's still working, right? So um, I kind of just wanted to share some ways, um, some tips with all of you on how to make an online uh, business work for you if it's all you want to do or if you just want to up your game in your online business. Um, hopefully I can give you a few little pointers for that. And hopefully I'll start getting some more in-home parties too. <laughs> because it is an amazing thing. One of those in-home parties, one of my two in-home parties by the way, was for my mom. It was very successful, but it's crazy, right? Anyway, so, okay, so we're out here in the online land of California and um, this is what I have to work with and it's been working. And I have to tell you that the mo for the most part, our team um, is pretty much running their businesses online. And I don't know if they've just kind of followed suit, but it's working and, and people are successful. And so it is definitely possible. Um, I am a mom of three and uh, my husband's gone a lot. So being able to work online a lot um, has been amazing for me. And um, so yeah, I hope I, can, I hope I can help you out. So the first thing is going to be to streamline your business, streamline your information. Um, this is huge because this is gonna keep you from staring at your screens all day and uh, keep your husband from being like, what are you doing on your phone again, right? Um, keep you from feeling like you're checking out from your kids, okay? You, you need to set aside time to organize yourself a little bit and you don't have to do it all at once. You don't have to do it all at once. You can take 30 minutes after the kids go to bed um, to sit down and find all your basic package photos and put them in an album. And then the next day, do your cleaning paste photos. But when you have these albums in your phone or in your computer that separate these different things, um, you are, you're gonna save so much time. And those of you who are running a mostly online business, I think you probably at some point were just, every time you needed a picture, scrolling through all 12,000 photos on your phone, right? Until you found the picture you were looking for. Um, I know I did it and and it's and it's an easy thing to get into because it's hard to take that time aside to organize um, but it's gonna be huge and it's gonna help you greatly so organize your pictures take some time out of every week uh, 20 minutes out of a day to just do that and I save pictures um, daily and then once a week I'll go back and say okay I have to go back through these pictures and just put them into the albums that they belong and that alone is going to save so much time I also have um, I have PDFs or Google Docs that I share with hosts to inform them how they can um, help me in our online parties um, and yes so I'm not gonna go too far into that but we can at a later date if you would like to um, hostess coaching is is a big thing for online parties. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna put that out there. Hostess coaching is huge because in an online party, if your host is not active, you um, are not going to engage any of her or his um, audience. So I I have um, separate files for my hosts and for um, and then my posts, my individual posts as well. I, you can use your notes or you can create a file like I did where it's like my post one, my post two, my post three, and I'm just going back into that file, finding my post, posting it. I might adjust a few things um, depending on the activity of the party, but um, organizing your thoughts, organizing your pictures is going to be huge. 
Okay, so the second thing is to be active. So Allison Walsh is gonna to talk to you about how, how you can be active in your VIP group and get people really interested in what you're doing, commenting on um, your, your posts in there, but maintaining a very regular and active presence in your VIP group is going to be huge for running your online business. Um, you want to stay relevant to all of your customers and um, you wanna stay exciting to all of them. So your VIP group and then um, also online in general, okay? So maintaining a regular presence on your Facebook page, in your Instagram, whether you're using your stories, whether you're posting um, just regular pictures of your family and your kids, reminding people that you are a normal person um, I am not using my main Facebook page for my business um, as far as like selling, selling, selling goes. Not at all. I am using it to remind people that I am I'm here and I am cleaning with water. Um, it's thrown in there, here and there, but it's not, um, I'm not selling on my main page, but I'm remaining active on my main page. And that's a big deal. Um, you, again, you wanna stay relevant. And um, people are going to remember that you're doing something and they're going to want to know about it. Um, but Lacey, again, is going to, Lacey Lichty is going, or sorry, Lacey Bailey. <laughs> She's going to be talking to you about how to brand yourself and ways that you can um, really use your Facebook page um, in your business without being a crazy salesperson. <laughs> so um, that's going to be the second thing, being active. Um, online in some capacity in both capacities really VIP group and on your main page and that does not mean posting your link everywhere and telling people to buy your stuff it just means reminding them that you're here and um, you're you're really you're on this stage of online and um, it's gonna keep people interested in you so the last thing, sorry, I love to talk. I can't, I just talk way too much. There's so much to say. But the last thing, okay, is has nothing to do with online at all, okay? So growing your online business and having a successful online business is going to be dependent also on you having personal relationships with people. And that can be um, possible in a, in a number of different ways. Some of the ways that I do it are um, thank you cards. I have one of my little gremlins coming right now. Uh-oh. Um, thank you cards, text messages, phone calls. Um, you know, you can send them a message on Facebook, but it needs to be personal, not a mass text. Um, hi. Uh, a personal reach out so that people remember that you're not just some person online, but you're a real person and you care about them and you are thankful for their... Um, taking part in your business in whatever capacity that is. And um, so those are my free, three tips, three free tips for running an online, uh, successful online business. And um, if any of you have good tips for me for how to get an in-home party, <laughs> I would love it, huh? So yeah. Yeah. All right. Say thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>